somebody or somebody's decided that they thought it was going to be cute to go on and report my store. So because of that, and because I was selling my dog and cat and unicorn and bunny keychains, I got them all removed from Etsy. So now I no longer can sell those keychains. However, there's hundreds. If you go on Etsy and you even type in self-defense keychains, they all come up. And I am not kidding you. It, they all come up. And it's just, it's so frustrating. See, look, okay, I have self-defense up there. Look, right here. Self-defense. There's a cat one there. There's a cat one there. Um, these are uh, key knife keychains right here next to my finger. Um, here's some more of the cat keychains. Okay. So you're telling me, okay, you're telling me that it's okay that everybody else sells them, but I'm not allowed to. Here's kabotins. Kabotins. I've never even heard of them, but next to my finger. So they're like a stick pointy thingy. Um, oh, here's a comb, a comb knife right next to my finger. So you're telling me that all that is okay to be sold on Etsy, but you come to mine and they're going to remove it because it's against guidelines. That's what they say. Even though there's literally stores selling the knives and pepper spray and um, the, oh, you know, here, here's the, oh, I'm not going to, here, the dog one next to my finger. Okay. So you're telling me again, why is it okay that everybody else is doing it, but I can't do it? Just like the Starbucks cups. I get it. I get that it's a, you know, it's copywritten. Excuse the people out there, the lawn maintenance people out there doing the lawn right now right next to my window it's my neighbor so can't really do anything about it um but anyways I understand the copyright I understand all of that but again hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people are out there that do the Starbucks cups but if I was to do it I know right now if I put one Starbucks cup on my store I a would get it removed from Etsy because someone would report it or b I would have a lawsuit up against me because someone's gonna report it to Starbucks and they're gonna use me as I guess to show what could happen and I'm just so frustrated it's like I can never seem to do something that I enjoy because other people have to rain on my parade. Everybody, like so many people have to jump on something and destroy what I have going. And that is so sickening. Like I can understand if you don't like what I'm selling, just stay off my page, stay off my shop. But why is it okay to go on and report my crap? But then yet you can see all these other people selling the exact same things, the exact same things. There is not one thing that I sell different that anybody else sells that I got in trouble for. It was all because of the keychains of the self-defense. And the thing that pisses me off the most is the fact that I have in the search bar self-defense keychains. I didn't just put cat keychain. I didn't just put dog keychain. No, I marked in here self-defense. And it says that that's against guidelines. If it's against Etsy's guidelines, why do they even allow that to be searched in their bar? Nothing should come up. Absolutely nothing should come up on Etsy. If you're putting in self-defense, nothing should come up because it's against their guidelines. But no, when you put it in, it comes up and there's pages upon pages upon pages of these self-defense keychains. So to me, I feel like it's discrimination. I feel like they're singling me out and that's not okay. So I contacted Etsy and I'm talking to a top person about it because to me, I feel like if they're going to hold me accountable, which is fine, if that's their policy, that's fine. But if you're going to hold me accountable to your policies, you best hold everybody accountable to those policies, not just one specific store. That's not, that's not cool. That's not fair. I don't work that way. I am so sick and tired of people thinking that they're going to single me out because there's trolls out there that are assholes, excuse my language. But I am so angry because how is it okay that you're going to do that to me, but yet everybody else is okay to do it. Everybody else is okay to do Starbucks cups, but Amy can't. Everybody else is allowed to do the self-defense keychains, but Amy can't. Why? What, what have I done to hurt anybody to not allow me to do what I want to do? If nobody would have reported my store, I'm sure I would have been just fine. But because I've got people that don't know how to stay in their own damn lane and they have to be on my tail every second that I turn around and make sure to blow me out the water every single time I turn around, they're going to take me and they're going to just go ahead and destroy everything above me. So now I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to close my Etsy shop and just say screw it because I mean one of my biggest sales are going to be my self-defense keychains that's what I make um I yes I have other things on there that I can make that's not a problem but it's the whole point that that is one of the biggest things that's one of my biggest items is my self-defense keychains why I mean I don't know if there's a point in having a uh, an Etsy shop I don't know but then it's like where else can I go I've looked at Macari Macari is not uh, it's not going to work for me um eBay no um I, I don't know what else to do I don't know I mean I'm just really, I'm really, really, really frustrated. And this is why you guys, I said that I was just going to keep with a Facebook page or, you know, an Instagram page because of this right here. What, what has happened that people don't know how to mind their business. People don't know how to just stop. They have to continuously keep going and they've got to make sure that they take everything away from me because they're not happy or because they're, you know, they can't make the things or I don't know. I don't know what the point is. I don't know why people hate me so bad. I don't know what it is that people d just absolutely disguise me. I don't know what I've done wrong to anybody, but this is what's affecting me. This right here, this like hit me hard because this was something I was really, really excited for. I really was so excited. I was excited hearing the noise of people, you know, uh, favoriting my page, you know, everything. 
to wake up this morning and get an email from Etsy, I'm sorry, but we had to remove multiple um, items from your shop due to it being against our policies. But yet you could go on and find everybody else's uh, shops and they all carry those types of things. So technically now all I have on my shop is um, my door openers, my phone holder, my Valentine's bears. And I think I have one other thing I can't remember right off the top of my head or two things. My sanitized bottles. Um, and I think that's it. I think I, I could be wrong. But I'm just frustrated. I'm so... I just feel defeated. I feel defeated. I feel like everything that I do, it's not going to work out. Because somebody will follow behind me and destroy it. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know, I feel like I can never... You know, I try and do things outside of even opening up a Etsy shop. And I've got people like following behind me, putting bad reviews on things just so people won't look at my stuff. Like... What is the problem? What have, what am I doing that you guys don't like? Like, I mean, I, I, yes, I get comments all the time. Your stuff looks like a five-year-old made it. I don't know why you waste your time. It looks like a kindergartner made it. Grow up, stop acting like a teenager. That stuff looks like crap. Okay. I get those comments all the time, but I also get comments that people say, oh my God, I love your stuff. It's very cute. So I, I, maybe my stuff is trash. Maybe. I mean, maybe it's people are just being nice and saying that they're nice, but really they're not. I mean, God, tell me, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to throw my stuff out and just say, forget it. I mean, what's the point in trying? I've put a lot of money into this stuff to try and get my stuff to be sold. And no, of course not course not because people got to make sure that they destroy it before I can even have fun with it <laughs> anyways today was just a rant video because I'm really frustrated I am like like I said I feel very defeated today um I I really don't know you guys what I'm gonna do if you guys still want to order self-defense keychains I'm still making them um but I can't put them on my store so if I'm gonna sell them to you I have to sell them through PayPal off of Etsy because there's no way I can sell them on Etsy um until I figure out what's going on I'm waiting for answers from Etsy um you know I don't know I might need to take legal action and see where I can go with this because to me it's not fair that I'm being singled out and everyone else is okay and literally people are selling knives on Etsy but yet they say that's against their policies that you're not allowed to sell knives then you tell me how you're getting away with it because I'm not selling knives and I didn't get away with it so hey everybody welcome back to my channel let's talk about this amy's life journey clip let's see why would you amy come on youtube and do a rant like this to be a small business owner you need to keep everything professional you don't go on youtube and Wine like a five-year-old because your brother took your toy and then all of a sudden now you want to rant and rant and rant and sound very immature. I understand being upset, but being a business owner, you're going to go through a whole lot of stuff. I'm not a business owner, but I know people who have, have their own business. And there are things you need to keep private in this world, guys. First of all, your, pri your private life needs to be stated private you don't let people know too much of your happiness because that's when you're gonna people want to steal your happiness and your income is another thing that you need to keep private i know being excited about having your own business and all and but you don't come on here and rant like that especially when you start your own business you want people people going to find you on youtube and and then watching this crying and how people must hate you so much. People who want to do more investigation, they're going to go, you know, find out more about you. And there is stuff that she has done that there's proof of. I've seen that video of her and her husband going after Pam. So that was uncalled for. That was totally disrespectful. You know, what kills people? Silence. Being silent is the best revenge on anyone. You don't answer back. A lot of people that make their own opinion, say their own opinion, whatever. So if you guys are wondering what that noise is, it's Miss Panda Girl. She has allergies and sometimes she goes under my bed and goes and scratches herself under the bed. So there's nothing under there that will hurt her. So she likes, I have the plastic still on the, uh, the bottom piece. So she goes under there and she goes, Kush, you hear her, hear her making her not all that noise. <laughs> So if you hear that, it's not, I don't have anything going crazy going on here. It's just her. That's what, she woke me up one morning doing that. So, but back on track. Okay, she says the trolls won. First of all, you were just you just announced to them that they whoever did this to you that they got one over on you and they won. They won this battle. Wrong move there. Wrong move. 
And then I see, I see, let's see some comments. There's one, two. Oh, before I get into that comment, first of all, she said it's the trolls from YouTube that did this to her, that they're trying to keep her from being happy. And no, boo boo, where's the receipts? Let me see the receipts. I want to see the receipts that it is these trolls from YouTube. Because it can be your competitor. It could be somebody. Because she says, oh, why is Mimi singling out Blase Blase? Maybe it's your competition singling you out. It's not always about YouTube trolls, people. Okay? It's not these people that, ha they're not living their life. They <laughs> if they see on YouTube, of course, I'm going to come after you on YouTube. But they're not spending their life coming after you in every aspect, every aspect of your life. Amy, you're not that important. I don't have that much energy in my life to go after anybody. I That just takes too much energy. Energy away from living my life and, be, and doing something positive for myself. Okay? But I love to see the receipts, Amy. Pro do you have proof that it was them? I mean, how do you know it's not somebody else on Etsy? Right? But there was a comment that was made. She, and a few comments made. Oh, don't worry, Amy. The karma's going to come back and get them. Blah, 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 blah. But you know what? Like I said, Amy hasn't been the most positive person. So maybe it's her karma. Hey, like I said, she don't have receipts. If she did, she would show it to you. She, I mean, honestly, it's probably her competition. When you start a business and you, you know, are out here trying to put out product similar to everybody else's of course somebody might come after you why do you think it's somebody from youtube i don't think everybody has that much time in the world to come after you in every aspect of your life amy truly i don't think they do and on to another thing number two that i want to add on here too is okay if they took down that product find something else there's so much product out here that you can make and but she was like, well, they can do it and I can't. What kind of, that's like high school stuff. Come on. If they could do it, why can't I? Would you, um, you know, I see other people exercising, but I don't see you doing it. So what's the point, Amy? What is the point? Just because somebody else is doing it, you you can go ahead and do it too. Yeah, I, I kind of do the exercise point. It's sarcasm, actually, guys. But I'm cold. It was cold out here today. Um... Yeah, like, Amy, just because they sing, you're not being singled out. Maybe it's somebody that says something that's on the Etsy shop. It's not always about somebody off of YouTube. Trust me. If you're a threat to somebody, they're going to single you out. Of course. You're you're in the business world now. Competition is going to be tight. It's going to be fierce. You can't be out here whining like a two-year-old because, oh, I got my... You got other products on there. Create different other things. I don't get like this rant. I really truly don't because it sounds so unprofessional. Oh, I was going to start my own business. I got a cricket. I used it three times. and But I'm not going to rush into it. I'm going to just ease into doing what I want to do at the moment. Like right now it's YouTube. I'm going to do it as a hobby. And I really want to focus on myself because my health is more important than worrying about some business that I may not, <laughs> you may not be around to finish. Health is wealth. Remember that, guys? Health is wealth. But I think that's all I wanted to say. But she's very unprofessional. Like, you don't go on YouTube because everybody's going to find you on YouTube and they're going to see you crying like this. A business owner needs to show professionalism 24-7. You can't let... no and, and, and then somebody see you at this low point of your life over something that can be fixed you 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 just look weak so when you look weak they're gonna come and jump on you all right you need to grow up first of all if you're gonna have a business you gotta be more professional and you can't let you can't show Pete that it bothers you that's 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 just that's just letting the competitor know I can I can get to her I can get to her I can get to her so being weak and then showing everything off on on about it on YouTube is the worst move ever so I mean, what do you think, guys? I mean, am I, am I wrong about any of these points? Like, but for them to say karma, like, let me tell you something. Amy has done some things, too. And maybe this is the way her karma, her karma train's coming back to hit her. You know, we all got to watch what we do, what we all got to watch what we say. You know, but I just wanted to talk about this because when you are 
Um, like she also says, like she sees other people doing. That's another thing I forgot. I, it was in my brain, but it, it stopped. She was talking about oh, other people can do Starbucks cups, but you know what? These people, when if they get caught, they will be sued. Trust me. There was a guy. Um, there was a shooting that happened out here. Uh, right after my boy's graduation, because the one kid that graduated with him ended up in jail, but he's out now, and he's selling t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff with his rapper's image on it if his family that rapper's family find out about this he could be sued and lose everything it's bad enough he already went to prison right after graduation and now he has a bad record but now he's selling illegal stuff that he shouldn't have so um amy my advice to you don't use no one's logo period that especially a big company like starbucks hey I, I mean, it's called trademark infringement, okay? You cannot use somebody else's trademark, period. No matter what, or somebody's likeness, you can't do that. You have to watch what you do and what you use. That's why I have to watch what I use because I was going to do something with um, my son's school, but I can't use the name of their school. I have to use like the teen name. You can't use the, because that's taken away from them using their their own name of the, of the college, so, but I mean, if you wear it, sorry guys, if you wear it and not sell it, that's different. Now, if she wanted to uh, do a Starbucks cup and use it and personalize it in her way and use it, that's fine. But if you use somebody else's trademark and sell it, that's very legal. So, you no, know, she's sitting here like, well, everybody else does it in mentality. She ain't going to last long in this business, guys. Let me tell you, you got to create your own unique things and... And if something gets taken out, you got to lump it up and do something else. Come on, stop crying about it, Amy. It's ridiculous. And now you, you now it's out there permanently unless you take the video down. But somebody else probably got, like, they got the copy of it. So, but I just wanted to talk to you about this video because, like I said, when you're a business owner, you got to act professional. No matter how upsetting it is. You can't go on YouTube and rant and rant and rant and look like a little boo-boo the fool because you got upset that some troll got to you. Because now you admit it on youtube that you let somebody get to you and that's the worst thing you can do as a business owner is allow somebody to know you they got to you so you guys have a great day i wanted to talk to this talk about this i guess i can't talk today oh my no my knees really hurt but yes guys i'm up to six almost 60 miles this week but <laughs> i'm feeling a little silly today um i'm baking chicken um, there, I, there's something I wanted to try, but I'm not gonna let you know what it is because I'm not gonna tell you a, a diet that I'm trying, and then if it fails, then I don't want to look like a failure. But there's something I wanted to try all um that I've seen that other people have and have been successful at, and I'm gonna try it. But I'm not sure because I've been trying to been trying to go at it at this diet for some time. But we'll see. I'll let you know. Um how successful i am on it i'm gonna try it for a while and if it works i'll let you know because i'm still doing research on it anyway so i'll let you know about it in in the near future so you guys have an amazing weekend party up party up party up and i mean enjoy your time with your family that should be the party you should be more worried about not going out to no no bars or anything and spreading the covid talking about spending time with your beautiful family enjoying every moment you can with them because time is so short to waste be doing foolishness okay you guys have an awesome day my panda is sitting here telling me she wants my attention so i'm gonna give it to her because i gotta go back out soon and i will talk to you soon you guys having a really truly enjoy your weekend and truly truly enjoy every moment with your, with your family because there's so many people losing theirs because of the virus so you guys have a great day thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i love you all and i'm coming up with a giveaway i'm not i haven't forgot about it guys i just don't know how how what how much i'm going to do so but i will hit up before the end of the month so you guys stay tuned i will love you guys for my i love your support oh you guys keep me motivated I'm pumped up and I'm feeling, I'm feeling the difference. Look guys, it wasn't like this before. I'm not even lying. I didn't stretch it out. I don't stretch. I hate sweatshirts that are stretched out. But today I was like, I had my other coat on. I was like, and I noticed when I was walking that my hands now, they're hanging past my hands. So it works guys. Working out works. Walk, walk, walk. It's very cold. I had to add my other jacket. Oh my God. 
it's cold, cold, cold. So you guys have an amazing weekend. Like I said, enjoy every moment with your family because you never know when it's time. So I love you guys. And I can't say enough how much I love your support. This means so much to me. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I really mean it this time. <laughs>